Carlene Bird endured a lot in her life, the victim of a vicious assault. She had a long journey of healing before she died. Through it all was a man named Patrick Lavallee, Bird's partner. Now that she's gone, he's had to find a way to cope with the loss. CTV's Stephanie Vallella with that. You're going to take care of me today. Oh, yes. It's been a tough few months for Patrick Lavalley, having to say goodbye to his partner Marlene Bird after she took her last breath in November. I didn't think I'd ever love somebody that much. Bird was a victim of a brutal attack. Her attacker Leslie Black sexually assaulted her and set her on fire. Both of her legs had to be amputated. Lavalley recalls the day he found out about Bird's attack. He says he was in Edmonton at the time, but he knew he had to get back to take care of her. He says he liked caring for Bird because she was nice to him, even when he did something wrong. This was a nice one. I, I like this one. Now, four years later, Lavalli is finally taking care of himself. I thank God that I, you know, I get to see another day sober without a hangover and not worrying about the, or am I going to get my next fix? Lavalley struggled with alcohol addiction since he was a teen. He tried getting sober several times before, but there was always something holding him back. I guess when you, when you drink with somebody so many years, you want to go back into that drinking. And an addictions counselor says that's not uncommon, saying addiction is a family disease. That goal that you want to achieve um, becomes more and more elusive, and you and you ask yourself why? Why am I, why am I fighting so hard for that? When you know my loved one just wants me to be the same. But now Lavalli is celebrating three months sober. He started attending treatment and going for counseling. His sister Linda Lavalli says she has seen such an improvement in him, both physically and mentally. I can see the glimpse of the, the brother that I used to have now. Uh, from back when we used to go skidooing on the ice and get lost on the ice and do everything together, I see him uh, again. Lavalli says he's looking forward to taking care of himself one day at a time. He says he plans on staying in Timber Bay because that's where he feels closest to his sweetie, Marlene Bird. Stephanie Vallela, CTV News, Prince Albert.